Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Tonight we have some professors of ethics coming to discuss the newly revealed story of the famous hedge jumper Johan Claus. Johan Claus admitted in his press conference that he did use gene doping a year up to the Olympics in London. Now he advises other athletes not to use gene doping because of the side effects and he uses himself as an example. First, I would like to introduce Professor Theodore Wales, who has studied both in ethics of technology and Christian ethics. So, Professor Wales, what do you think about this case if you have to focus on ethics of technology? Well, first of all, gene doping is a good discovery and we are positive about it. We use this technology in hospitals to cure diseases. Gene therapy replaces the unhealthy cells in your body and this can be done with any cells in your body. But what about this case? Well, it is wrong to use gene doping for personal reasons um, to gain advantages in sports. Um, the human body is unique you and you should not change it for reasons that are unnecessary. Well, that was a little sneak peek on the upcoming discussions from different ethical positions. See you after the break. Gene doping can be justified depends on the quantity of joy, and um, the athlete might become ill, but we as spectators are entertaining with feel joy during sports event. If one gene doping athlete can cause this much joy, the gene doping is justified. It is not the disease which is decisive. A change of the body like doping does will not be the point of God's creation. It's not up to gene doping to make joy in sports. God has created the body as it should be, so we should not change it. The body has amazing qualities and we should be happy with it and take care of it. When we watch sports on TV, we will find it just as interesting uh, if Johan jumps a few inches lower than he do when he uses gene doping. In this specific case, the athlete has become very ill. But from a utilitarian stance, this too is uh, justified due to the quantity of joy and excitement caused by his uh, performances on the sports court. Furthermore, not all athletes become ill from using gene doping, so in some cases that argument is invalid. It is not allowed to use gene doping in sports. It will make a breach of one of the ten tenders and the tender of not to lie. Uh, both in the case with Jonah and in general, it's all about quantity of joy. And um, the quantity of joy is very hard to measure, uh, as nobody is able to uh, forecast the con consequences of our actions. First of all, it's horrible which consequences this uh, kind of doping can have to the body, and you should be very careful to use it. You shouldn't use gene doping at all. Gene doping is there to get an advantage. In sports, it's all about not being equal. It's about winning, and if someone, if, if everybody's equal, then you can't win. The only way gene doping is susceptible in ethics and virtue is for medical use. It can quickly get out of hand if gene doping is used in other contexts, and it will not make people happier. Well, let us give everybody a chance to use gene doping. Then it will be okay because then once again it will be about how good the individual is. For medical reasons I do not see the problem of using it, but it's still not perfect, therefore we should not use it. To strike the golden mean in gene doping must be to only use it for medicals. If gene doping has to be reconsidered as a good thing, there will, uh, there will have to be a lot more research into it. I agree, you should not use it yet, you see, you can still get a lot of diseases out of it, such as cancer. So, don't use it for medical reasons just yet, there still has to be research in it. But in sports generally, it should not be allowed. This goes for any sport there is. Whether we should allow gene doping to be used is a very complex matter, as you heard today. Depending on the ethical standpoint, the approach to this topic differs a lot. Go to our website and join the ongoing discussion about this topic. We would like to know your opinion. See you next week.